When the world is threatened by an ancient evil, the four adolescent turtles must reunite and overcome their faults in order to stand against it. Welcome back. This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2007 family science fiction cartoon called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. In ancient times, Warlord Yao opens a portal into a parallel universe that grants him immortality and petrifies his four generals. The portal also releases 13 immortal monsters that destroy his army and his enemies while becoming famous mythical monsters as centuries pass. In the present, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles grow apart after defeating the Shredder. For training, Master Splinter sends Leonardo to Central America, where he becomes the protector of a village. Donatello works as an IT specialist, Michelangelo works as a birthday party entertainer, and Raphael continues to fight crime as a masked vigilante known as the Night Watcher, which he keeps a secret. The turtle's old friend April O'Neil now operates a shipping company that acquires relics for collectors, assisted by her boyfriend, Casey Jones. After traveling to Central America for work, April tells Leo his brothers have drifted apart. She then returns to New York City with a statue for wealthy tycoon Max Winters. Winters hires Shredder's former second-in-command, Karai, and her ninja foot clan to search the city for the 13 monsters before the portal opens again. Casey figures out Rafa's double identity and joins him in hunting criminals. Winters, who is actually Yaro, reanimates his four stone generals using technology created by his company. Leo returns to the turtle's sewer lair, reuniting with his family. Splinter forbids them from fighting crime until they can act as a team again. While training, the turtles encounter one of the 13 beasts, Bigfoot. They engage Bigfoot, disobeying Splinter's orders, and come into conflict with the Foot Clan in the process. While the turtles and ninja fight, a fleeing Bigfoot is captured by the generals. The next day, Splinter admonishes his sons for their disobedience. Raphael later visits Casey, and they encounter Vampire Succubur, another one of the monsters. They witness its capture by the Foot and the Stone Generals, but are spotted. Despite a successful escape, Raph is rendered unconscious. Casey and April take care of Raph and call the other turtles for help. Together, they figure out the identities of Yahoo and his generals. After being revived, Raf suggests they pursue Yago, but Leonardo refuses to act until Splinter gives his permission. Raf decides to investigate alone. Donatello discovers the next portal will open over Winter's Tower, and Splinter tells Leonardo they need Raphael. Meanwhile, Yago reveals that he wishes to turn his generals back into humans and break the curse that keeps them alive. The generals conspire to betray Yaro, wanting to remain immortal. As the Night Watcher, Raph patrols the city. Leo, not recognizing his brother, pursues the Night Watcher, believing him to be just a regular thug. In the ensuing fight, Leo discovers that the Night Watcher's identity and Raph destroys his swords. After almost killing his brother, Raphael flees in a fit of guilt and shame. The general sees a weakened Leo, intending to substitute him for the 13th beast, and Raf decides to make amends by rescuing Leo. As the portal opens, Yahoo discovers his general's treachery, while Splinter and the Turtles, accompanied by Casey and April, fight their way through a foot clan cordon and breach the tower. Refusing to betray Yahoo, Karai and the Foot Clan work together with April and Casey, searching for the final monster, the Sea Monster, while the Turtles fight the Generals. April, Casey, and Karai arrive at the tower with the Sea Monster, which crashes into the Generals, dragging them into the portal before it closes. 
Kalai wants them to enjoy their victory while it lasts, cryptically saying they will soon contend with faces from their past before vanishing. And now mortal Yahoo thanks the heroes for fulfilling his wish and dissipates into the afterlife. As they return to their roles as the shadowy guardians of New York City, Raph says that the turtles will always be brothers. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.